Hey, and welcome back to Vid Society. So a couple of days, I built this website using AI Wise Mind and Chat GPT called Grills and Thrills. And I want to give you a quick update. If you go and do a search for this on Google using site, you're going to see that there's already 20 results indexed in Google. Now, most of these, because this is a brand new website with absolutely no authority, these are not going to be ranking very high right now, except for this one here. I actually was going through checking these out. And if I was to take this one and let's just do a quick search for it, you can see here that 709 million results. And if we scroll down right here at number three is grillsandthrills.com two days ago, and you can see this post. And what's really unique about this is that with this post, I forgot to add an additional YouTube API key in my AI WiseMind account. And so I ran out of quota. It didn't even add a video to this post. All this is, is just the content that AI Wise Mind created for me with a great title, a little intro. Here you have a really in-depth table of contents. And then down here, you have the full details broken down step-by-step -step for this article, a very, very nice article. And it obviously ranked well in Google. So what we did a couple of days ago was we added a hundred posts to this website to really get it going strong off the bat. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to this category called recipes. We're going to create a new campaign in AI wise mind, and I'm going to start making posts for different types of grilling recipes that we can add to this website. For now, I am not going to be doing any kind of product reviews, any types of affiliate links or anything for monetization. I'm only going to load this site currently with informational type posts for probably the first few weeks. And then after that, once this site starts building up a little more authority, starts ranking better, I'm going to start sending a few backlinks to it. Then I'll start dripping in some affiliate review products, which I can start monetizing the site with. Now, for anyone who's interested in using AI Wise Mind, I will put that link below this video in the description box, as well as any other resources that I mention. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So here we are under the recipes category. You can see there's nothing in here. And I went to chat GPT and it's already done. So let me just scroll back up here and I'll show you what I did. I put here that, let me scroll back up a little further. And I put, give me a list of 100 different foods that can be grilled. And it says, sure, here's 100 different food items that can be grilled. You can see them all listed here. And then after that, I put, I want to create a hundred posts for my website that includes recipes for each one of these. Can you create a hundred article titles for each of these food items based on grilling and recipes and optimize for SEO? So it did that. But what I noticed in a lot of these titles, it did not include uh, the word recipe like this one here. You can see the word recipes not in it. It's not in this one either. And for SEO purposes, I want that included. So I went down here and I said, be sure to somehow include the word recipe in each title. And so it rewrote every one of these and put the word recipe in all of this. Now, why, why this is so important is because we're going to copy every one of these and we're going to add these to AI wise mind. And what it's going to do is it's going to create content for every one of these titles, including recipes for each one of them. And it's going to automatically publish those to our website on a schedule that we set. So I'm going to drip feed this out, maybe one post a day, maybe two posts a day. I want to go easy, especially up front because this is a new website. And since we just added a hundred posts to it, I don't want it to look too unnatural. So we're going to jump back over to AI wise mind under campaigns. We're going to do an informational post. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a title. I'm just going to call it grill and thrills recipes. We're going to paste in all of these keywords I just copied. And if we come out of here and click out of this box, you'll now see that there are a hundred of them. I'm going to use each title as the keyword. So instead of it rewriting every one of these titles, when it creates the article, it's going to keep each one of them because these are the exact titles I want for all the posts. Down here's the context box. I'm leaving that empty. I'm not adding any affiliate links to it, any type of anchor text or buttons. We're not doing none of that. We will embed some videos. I do not want to include any images just for copyright reasons. And down here, we're going to leave all this the same. The total number of posts to create. Well, we have up here a total count of 100. So we want to make sure that we have our total post to create 100. So it's going to create one article for each one of those titles that we put in. 
Then I'm going to schedule this. So we'll click on publish on schedule. We'll do one post. Uh, we'll do one post every day for now. And I'm going to post it to my website automatically. So we'll take this box. I'm going to select my website for grills and thrills. If I had multiple grilling websites, I could even select multiple ones in here and have it post. But we're not going to do that. You can also set up different groups. We're not going to do that. And you can also choose whether you want this to be published automatically or if you want it to set it as pending or draft in your WordPress dashboard. That way, if you want to review it before it goes live, you can do that because remember, guys, this is AI and it's not always 100 percent accurate. So especially if you're focusing on niches in the medical or health or fitness industry supplements, you want to make sure your content is accurate before you post it. For this one, I am going to have it to auto generate the featured image and it's going to use Dolly for this. Now, currently the Dolly 2.0 model, it's not really the best one out there, but they are going to be releasing Dolly 3 here over the next month or two. And when that happens, it's supposed to drastically improve the quality of these images. But for now, we're going to go ahead and just let it create them. I want it to auto generate tags. I'm going to automatically put it in a category. So we're not going to have it to auto generate it. So we're going to come down here and we'll do grilling right here for recipes. And then we're not going to do any internal linking yet. I'll do that probably in the next articles that I upload. I want to make sure I have plenty of content on my site before I start adding this. That way it has plenty of content to link to that's on my website. So we're going to leave it the way it is. Click on create. And you can see right here, Grills and Thrills Recipes, informational posts currently active. Let's jump over to our content section. And now you can see all of these titles we added for informational type post. They're scheduled. We can now just let this website go. I can start working on other ones and building them up because for the next three months, this one's going to be taken care of with one article per day. Now, I will probably continue and set up maybe one or two more campaigns over the next couple of days. So I can drop articles in some of the other categories that's there as well. So there'll be a total of maybe two to three articles every day being added to this website. Let me go ahead and refresh this because we should have one post that's going to automatically publish for us. And we'll go ahead and refresh this. You can see it right now. This one here, the first one, the ultimate grilled chicken breast recipes for perfect flavor. It's processing at 20% uh, percent done. I'm going to pause the video. Normally this only takes a minute or two, and then we're going to go in and check out this post and see how accurate it is. And hopefully it set up a whole recipe for us. So I just refreshed this. You can see it was one minute ago when I started this, a total word count of close to 1400. And right now it's publishing. So let's refresh it and it should be done by now. There it is. We'll come over and click these three dots. We have a bunch of options here. We're going to click on view the post. It's going to take us right over here. And it actually did put up a decent picture of grilled chicken here. So let's scroll down and we can see here our title and intro. It says, if you're tired of bland and boring grilled chicken, look no further. This article will introduce you to the ultimate recipe for grilled chicken breasts that are bursting with flavor. How much better could that get? And then even this video that it imported, the best chicken breast you'll ever make. Scrolling on down, you have your table of contents. Then here it has your ingredients. It says to make the ultimate grilled chicken breast, you'll need the following ingredients. And then here they are. Now, sometimes when it lists your ingredients, it'll do it in bullet points. Sometimes it'll put it in a table format. You just don't know. AI changes it up. It seems like every time it creates an article. And that's why it's a good idea to always look through it. I'm going to publish another one here in just a minute and we'll see how it's done. In fact, let me go ahead and jump back over. And while we're looking at this article, I'll go ahead and we'll publish two more. So I'll select those and click run and we'll go ahead and let those run. And let's go back and look at this. So we got the ingredients and then preparing the chicken, trimming, marinating, preparing the grill, grilling techniques, direct grilling, indirect, monitoring the chicken, resting, serving suggestions and various tips, and then adding a smoky flavor. So that's not a bad article at all. And what we're going to do is go ahead and jump back. And we're going to let these two articles finish and we'll check them out. You can see here, this one here is processing. The other one's on queue. But what I want to mention to you right off is one question I get more than any other on my YouTube channel, in my Facebook group, through email messenger and all that is what if they're detected by these AI detectors? Guys, I'm going to tell you right off, ignore the AI detectors. 
they are junk. Every one of them has a different algorithm. So one of them may tell you it's AI. Another one may tell you it's 100% human. Even OpenAI themselves, the creator of ChatGPT, says the same thing. And the AI detector tool they was creating, they quit building it for this very reason. So if you're concerned about something being detected as AI content, please just get that out of your mind right now because it doesn't matter. I just showed you 100 posts that I published on my website two days ago. And within 48 hours, 20 of those are already indexed in Google. One of them ranked number three on the first page of Google. That there is proof that AI content ranks. It is fine as long as it provides good quality content. And that's something that AI Wise Mind gives you. Let's go ahead and refresh this again. Okay, and this one here is published about, about 1300 and let's view it. A special occasion grilled beef tenderloin okay so that's not a bad image another video table of contents ingredients preparation so and then down here this one even gives you an faq so how long to marinate how can i prevent it and and down here even a conclusion so these are all created a little bit different each time it makes them that way there's not a solid pattern with all of these posts. So it's going to make it it's going to make every one of these posts look so much more natural, so much more like somebody actually wrote them and it's not followed through a script, which many of these AI writers use today. And this one here is now finished. Let's go ahead and view it. Another image, that's not bad. And then down here, Texas Hot Links homemade sausage recipe. And here you go. I mean, everything on here is, is exactly what we're needing for these recipes. And if I jump over to this category, you can see these. And I really like these featured images that they're using for this. And if we go to the home page, they should also, also be here. Now, these other ones, I did not add featured images to them. I probably should have because these are really good. And I guess depending on your niche, and the type of images you need, the images may or may not look good uh, created by Dolly. So just keep that in mind. You may want to test a couple of them before you run your entire campaign using featured images, because if you don't like them, you may have to go delete them. So we're going to go ahead now and let this run. And over the next few days, what I'll do is I'll probably go ahead and set up some more campaigns for articles under grilling basics, advanced grilling, maintenance, and tips and tricks that way we can have this site fully loaded and then maybe here in a couple weeks i can go ahead and submit it for adsense approval too, get some ads running on it and then doing some product reviews for grills accessories and so on if you guys enjoy these types of videos where i go through and break down and show you step by step how i build out these sites and i show you proof that they're working then be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and then when i upload these videos i will notify you of them so that's it for this video guys have a great rest of your week